Welcome to our channel, Eat Illinois. I'm Samantha. And I'm Josh. Um, and uh, our channel is us eating around Illinois and then maybe some other places depending on vacations. Um, but today we have food from Flying Hawaiian, which is a food truck in the Chicagoland area. Um, and we'll leave a link below to their Facebook group. But so today we got two of their plates. We got the Huli Huli chicken. So this has like pineapples, uh, mac salad, and rice. And then we got, what is this called, the Hawaiian? It was the Hawaiian mixed plate. And it has uh, also the Huli chicken. It has the Kalua pork and the Kalbi beef. And both of these come with rice and mac salad. We will have another video up um for another hawaiian food truck in the area um so we're gonna get started and try out the food mm -hmm. what should we start with first um let's the, try the kalua pork yeah yeah because it's the easiest one mm -hmm. so i'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of the kalua pork mm, that's juicy That's good. Yay! Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Colby beef now. Go for it. So this is, um, mm. how do I make this look pretty? Mm, there, there's just no. This is the Colby beef. It's a short rib. This is better than the the other Hawaiian <laughs> food truck. The other place was good, but they didn't cut theirs up. And this is like packed with flavor. The other place was really good. Don't yep, this one, this one wants. <laughs> I would still go to the other food truck if it's in the neighborhood, but. Mm -hmm. This one, the beef, so good. Yeah, this one wants. There's no pretty way to eat these. Nope, you just have to. Except that it'll be a bit messy. It's like chicken wings. You just accept that fact the moment you order. <laughs> They're not as dirty, messy as chicken wings, though. That's true. <clears throat> mm. Very tasty. That sauce <laughs> is just so good on it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that beef <laughs> is delicious. Unfortunately, they were sold out of their, like, garlic shrimp. Um, the... Truck, one of the truck owners said that their distributor didn't have everything. Um, so we really did want to try the garlic shrimp, but weren't able to. But we will probably be trying them again, hopefully, soon, and get that garlic shrimp. I definitely feel like I would get a <clears throat> plate of the Colby beef, too. Yes, absolutely. And here is the Huli chicken. Huli huli chicken. Huli huli chicken. <laughs> and it does come with a, um, is it pineapple salsa? Yeah. Mmm. This is gonna be a big bite. Ooh. It's very smoky. Yeah, it has a nice char on it. Mm-hmm. It does taste different than the chicken we got, too. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say that I like this chicken better. I think so. The other one tasted a little bit more like uh, kind of generic barbecue chicken, and it was good. This one is more unique. <clears throat> well, it just has a nice char on it, and I like, you'll learn that I like things quote unquote, quote, burnt. <laughs> like that burnt char taste is so good. This chicken's delicious. Mm -hmm. We gotta try the mac salad. Ah, yes. Oh, this is definitely heavy on the mayo. Mm hmm <laughs> But that's not a bad thing if you, well, unless you don't like mayo, but here's the mac salad. It has like slices of corn. Oh, carrot, not corn. <laughs> this one's good. I would say I like the mac salad actually from the other place better. This one's very, very soft. Like the pasta feels almost like it's overcooked. Because it, it just disappears. It doesn't seem like it has much flavor either. Like No. <clears throat> it's just like creamy. Mm-hmm. 
I could probably could use some pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll do something to kind of brighten up it up, maybe. Yeah. Let's yeah. try the <clears throat> rice. The rice is better. Mm-hmm. And you'll see this video later, but the rice from the other Hawaiian food truck was a little bit harder. This one's probably a little bit too moist, but I prefer it to be like moist and like sticky almost rather than the hard um, texture, but that could just be the plate that we had too. It might not be the consistency. Um, but I would definitely eat at both of these trucks again, but I would say that <clears throat> this truck is better. I really want to try the Spam Subi, but they didn't have that either. Yeah, they they were missing quite a bit. Mm. But yeah, everything we've got here is really good. Nothing's dry. <clears throat> nope. And like they were making it fresh in their food truck too, so that's nice to see. And they were super nice, but the people at the other place were super nice. But I definitely think I like this place better. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> so fly in Hawaiian. But I would still recommend the other place. And like I said, that video will be up later. They're both really good. But this one's a, this one's better. It's just more. But flavorful. the other the other Hawaiian truck is also newer, like I think within the last few months. So they're probably still getting the hang of things. But yeah, this just like I, I feel like this is so good. Their mac salad could be better. I did like the mac salad from the other <clears throat> Hawaiian truck. Again, we didn't have the Kalua pork at the other Hawaiian truck. What did we have instead? What was in? The, oh, it was the poke. So here's mm -hmm. one thing. Yep. The other place has poke nachos, which were delicious, and they also have poke bowls. And this place, the Flying Hawaiian, does not have poke at all, and the poke was amazing at the other um, Hawaiian food truck. So it really depends what you want. I definitely, yeah, so it's, they have their strengths and weaknesses. I would say go to the other Hawaiian food truck for the poke and come here for, like, the meats. Yeah. Yeah, this this one um, they don't have any any raw fish or any anything like that, um, and the only seafood on the menu I believe is the garlic the shrimp, shrimp, yeah, which today they didn't have. So, and also, <clears throat> um, the other place had a different type of chicken that looked good that we didn't get to try that had like different sauces on. I can't remember what it was called, but I want to try that out one day too. Um, but yeah, for like the Colby beef and the chicken, the Huli Huli chicken, definitely think that it tastes better at the Hawaiian, flying Hawaiian food truck. And the rice also, um, tastes better too. But yeah, we're going to continue eating and give you our final thoughts at the end. Okay, we have finished our food. This is the aftermath. As you can see, all the meat is gone. We just had some rice and the mac salad. It was very good. What was your favorite thing? I think it was probably the Colby beef. That was my favorite too. I wish we had more of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't have the Colby beef, um, oops, Colby beef plate. Otherwise, I think that we probably would have gotten that um, extra with the Hawaiian plate. Um, but it was all really good except the mac salad. Didn't really have much flavor. And we don't know if that's like just how it normally is in Hawaii. But we'll find out within the next month. Month <laughs> or so. So um, but everything was really delicious. We definitely recommend eating here. The chicken was good. The Kahlua pork was good. It really depends on what flavor you're looking for. The chicken has a nice char flavor. The Kahlua pork is just more of a subtle, like juicy flavor. Like when you bite mm -hmm. into it, there's like juices that come out with it. And then with the... Kalbi beef? Yes, thank you. <laughs> the Kalbi beef is definitely a, like a sweeter um, meat uh, that tastes really good. And wasn't nothing was dry. Everything was really good. Um, the rice was good too, and like soaking up all the juice that's left over was really good with the rice. So yeah, I definitely recommend flying Hawaiian. We'd like to get some of the other stuff from the menu, hopefully next time. Yes. So hopefully we can get our hands on that garlic shrimp. 
But Fingers crossed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And then until next time.